I'm a machine. Is there anybody there? They can talk, communicate with people and imitate their facial expressions. Some robots even look human. At the Science Museum in London, visitors can get up close and personal with humanoids. And it can be an emotional experience. Coming face to face with a mechanical human has always been a little scary. Over the centuries, each generation experienced this afresh as new waves of technology heralded new robotic forms. That sense of unease, of something you cannot quite put your finger on, goes to the heart of our, or should I say your, long relationship with robots. Robo Thespian is one of the exhibition's star attractions. This life-size humanoid robot was designed to communicate and entertain. <laughs> The Science Museum is devoting an entire exhibition to this form of artificial intelligence. Simply called Robots, the show comprises more than a hundred humanoid bots. With humanoid robots, there's this um, desire, I think, first of all, to build them for entertainment. Um, I think we've always just been entertained by this idea of creating mechanical people. Um, it's, it, humanoid robots is also a way of demonstrating our technological advancements, so the human body is amazingly complex, so trying to recreate it through technology available to us has always been a challenge for people. The exhibition Robots boasts the largest collection of humanoid robots ever assembled and even includes a few of the first models dating from the late Middle Ages, like this 16th century mechanised monk. Their movements were based largely on clockwork, um, so they were repetitive and predictable. They couldn't react with the, you know, the real world as, as we do. Um, but it's the basis on which a lot of modern-day robots um, were founded. Today's robots also showcase technological capabilities. This Kodomoroid communication android is highly realistic. She's never been seen outside Japan before. These days, robots are employed in many areas of our lives in industry and research, as toys, even as performers. What looks so easy took years of work by robotic engineers to achieve, if it works at all. There are so many moving parts, so there are 12,000 parts in this robot, and we have to make every one of them. And if one of them is wrong, nothing works. So it's extremely complicated. The relationship between man and machine has interested artists for centuries. Science fiction films reflect the human longings and desires of their time. Whether fascinating or terrifying, researchers must also consider the potential social impact when deciding what the robots of the future should do. To think about you know, the benefits that this technology might bring to our society, but also the consequences, and to imagine you know, what sort of future do we want with robots, because I think it is a big question for our society to have to think about, not just humanoid robots, but all robotic technologies. However intelligent, robots are still machines. They remain an expression of our hopes, fears and dreams, even if the boundaries between humans and humanoids are increasingly blurred. Yes,